product push, early payback, high performance. Those are some of the Chrysler Group highlights in this 2011 Rewind edition of Under the Pedestar. With the launch of the 2011 Chrysler 300 and Dodge Charger, we are taking another important step on the journey to build a sustainable future for Chrysler Group. And today, you will see what happens when we are backed into a corner. You will see the new Chrysler 300s, and you will know that we came out swinging. So right over there is our new Green with Envy. The Challenger RT Classic features brand new 20 inch rims, uh, which are coming out as we speak. Orders have opened up already. So yet another gift to the enthusiast, so to speak. Keeping the car hot. Chrysler is in fact on a path to a solid recovery. Just this week, Chrysler announced its 2010 total year results, and it showed that we have met or exceeded all of our, our graded forecasts, and in fact, Chrysler posted an operating profit of $763 million for the year. So I'd like to begin, ladies and gentlemen, by introducing the 2012 Wrangler Mojave. Now, the all-new Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT8. So what does it offer? Obviously, it's a blend of Jeep's legendary capability and utility. It has luxury and refinement, but I think you'll agree, in a more aggressive, race-inspired design. I'm pleased to announce that significantly in advance of the initial plan in a little more than 23 months, not two years, a little more than 23 months from the momentous day we have fulfilled our promise. We have received confirmation this morning at 10.13 a.m. from Citigroup that Chrysler Group repaid with interest by wire transfer to the United States Treasury and by bank transfer to the Canadian government every penny that had been loaned less than two years ago. And today, I'm proud to announce the government has been completely repaid for the investments we made under my watch by Chrysler because of the outstanding work that you guys did. Because of you. It's the first eight-speed transmission um, introduced by a domestic um, car manufacturer. And um, it's a transmission that um, allows us actually to increase by double digit um, percentage wise the fuel economy of our vehicles so it has a tremendous impact on the uh, on the fuel economy but also on shift comfort on the um, overall perception driving perception by the customer uh, so the transition from all drive to tool drive is is done uh, very well uh, in conjunction with the engine obviously <laughs> the concourse of elegance. <laughs> Chrysler will invest $500 million at this facility in the Toledo Assembly Complex, which in addition to improving safety, efficiency, and the quality of the plant, is part of a much larger $1.7 billion investment that will bring a new advanced architecture that will be the basis for the group's next generation sport utility vehicles beginning in 2013.
So please welcome the new Fiat 500 ABAF. It's small, it's wicked, and it's uh, ready to sting right out of the box. Which is the yellow jacket. 426S, 300S, it's the, uh, it's the S edition of 300 with the 426 engine. That's a Detroit sound for you right here. So. Those were highlights from 2011 under the Penistar. For Chrysler Electronic Communications, I'm Ed Garston.